Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with Robert Rustler, and you may know him from many different movies, uh, including Nightmare on Elm Street, and all the way up through now, uh, you're on Ray Donovan, and you have another new show coming out, which we're talking about, Light as a Feather. Yes. So this sounds like a fun uh, sort of sci-fi slash scary show. And we were just talking about the realness of the young actors and how much he appreciates that. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really cool that it's on Hulu, actually. I love Hulu. They've got so many great, like, original shows. Um, and this is going to be one of them, obviously. Mm -hmm. Do you know uh, when is it coming out? I can't say yet. It's coming out soon, though. Okay. So that's why I want everybody to follow so they can keep up on it and... We'll have an air date. They'll make an announcement. And, and yeah, there's going to be all so kinds get of information. Scoop. It's good that we get the scoop like right before everybody even like gets to watch the show. We get to like talk about it, so that's pretty cool. Yes, I'm really excited. Like I said, there's a, a great cast. Um, they're hip and young and super on it. And um, like, who are some of the people that are in the show with you? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> uh, Liana Liberato, who's a fantastic young actress, is in it, and Dylan Sprayberry, Asiana Alexis, Peyton List, the list goes on. Uh, it's just a, a really great ensemble of, of, of young actors that I think really blend well together. I think Awesomeness TV and Hulu did a really fantastic job of casting. And I, and, I, and I hear it was quite a process for them, casting this show. Mm. And they put a lot of thought into it. And, um, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just really, like I said, I'm really impressed with the talent that they have put together in this show and working so far with directors like Jeff Bird and Chad Lowe uh, on a couple of the episodes that I've done so far. Um, I think that they're really... Um, they're really keyed in on what's going on um, with the young high school sort of um, everything that's happening in, in that age. You know how there's so much going on when you're a teenager? Mm -hmm. I mean, with relationships and family and, and, and school and, you know, yeah. there's, just, there's just so much to deal with. And I just think that um, the writers and the producers and the directors... That, that, are, that are working on the show it really, I think, are hitting the nail on the head and it brings back a lot of memories for me. That's cool. Watching them work, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know what's interesting for me is watching these young actors work who have this fantastic uh, resume be behind them and how they have the craft and they are so on it and their work ethic is fantastic and there's such a naturalism to their acting, and um, I'm just really impressed and really, really uh, excited to be on the show. That's cool. Well, I mean, obviously you have a lot of experience, so you can like see and appreciate when somebody's really doing a good job and like doing it right, you know? Yes, I can, and um, you know, it's one of those things too where you don't even have to look at it with a critical eye. It's really, am I being moved? Is 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 there meaning behind it? And and I think that I like to watch art or, or, or uh, experience art in that same way. It's not so much of specifically how I think or what I think, but it's everything, it's how I feel. And when, when I watch these young actors act and I am uh, impressed, I'm moved, I'm inspired, um, it's exciting to watch them come to life together because there's so much going on in the story in the relationships and the dynamic by which they uh, come together, uh, it could be surfacey or it could be maybe um, not quite as interesting. But what makes it the most interesting to me is how they relate to each other and how they're emotionally moved when they're working. It's, it's just really uh, great to watch. Well, that's cool because I think that's what really makes a good show and makes people want to watch the show, you know, is is how deeply the characters are really showing, you know, the emotions and stuff. So Absolutely. So cool. It's all about truth, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and so now what's your role that you play on Ray Donovan? Well, I'm coming back. I, I was on a couple seasons ago uh, as the character Gus O'Day. Cool. And, uh, and, and now they're bringing me back. I can't talk too much about storyline, 
and they don't tell me much. In fact, if they told me anything and I leaked it, they would probably kill me. Uh-oh. Um, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to be dropping my Oz one more time and be a South Boston paraplegic drunk. <laughs> paraplegic? Really? Yeah, absolutely. So I, you have to be in a wheelchair? I was in a wheelchair. Uh, I, I, and I still will be mm. uh, in the show without giving anything away. What fans do know, if you remember my character, mm. well, I hope I hope someone remembers my character. Uh, I was I was uh, Ray Donovan's wife's first boyfriend from high school, ah. and and we hadn't seen each other in many years. But since I had gotten into a motorcycle accident and lost the use of my legs, so now I'm. Uh, a Patriots fan stuck in a wheelchair. Oh, man. Yes. Well, it looks like we have to take another quick break. But That's good because I couldn't be hotter. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> it's like a heat wave. Okay, anyways. <sighs> we'll be right back Did with you, Robert it... Ressler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm talking with Robert Ressler. Keep watching the show by clicking here.